The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. Spear Life is brought to you by Nowie Worldwide. Dive safety through education. <clears throat> hey bud, I think you need to take that lens cap off. Hi there, and welcome to season two of Spear Life, starring Kobe Trezor. Oh geez, here we go. Can we just start the show, please? I think I sense some jealousy from the boys. Myself, Gary, and our star Kobe are headed to Florida's Key West. The deep waters of Key West offers plenty of world-class fish to go after, and that's sure to make Kobe's head spin. I'm a bobblehead. And while Kobe bobbles, he feels he gets the short end of the stick. Gary, me and you're in first. Cheaters! Gotta shoot some big fish. Cheaters. Whatever. You got bamboozled. <laughs> you got bamboozled. On this trip, we'll be diving the deep waters of Key West. Here, we will also have a look at another historic shipwreck. How you doing, man? Great. I'm like a level five diver now. Oh, yeah? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> level five. Yeah, it goes to level 100. Okay. <laughs> Let me give you the rules. Hey, shark. I want to breathe. I'm having way too much fun. Keeps getting better. It feels so good. I do not want to sit in the rain. Ah, boo. Way too much fun. Are we going to eat good tonight? Look at that big boy. This is I'm here to enjoy myself. I'll go tomorrow. He's a fighter. Three shorts on this thing? Good possibility, Jerry. Sure. After making the successful drive and unloading our trailer, we checked in at Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina in Key West, all while following the COVID-19 face mask requirements to enter the building. And to be honest, we look like three sketchy guys with masks about to rob a bank. See, face mask required to enter. You can be sure that no matter the situation, Kobe is always gonna act like he's still 19. Give me all your money. Forget about COVID-19. On this trip, we have to deal with Kobe-19. I guess you could say both are annoying and a pain in the ass. Ah! <laughs> I couldn't breathe, man. Key West is host to some of the best spearfishing and resorts in Lower Florida. We stayed at the Ocean's Edge Resort, and Leanna Pine, director of sales, made a convincing argument for why we should stay here. Ocean's Edge Resort is a brand new 175 room and suite hotel built around one of the most historic full service marinas in Key West. The marina here has been around for 35 years and has recorded more fishing records than anywhere else in the world. We are unpacked, geared up, and ready to head out on our first day in Key West with legendary spear fisherman Robert Trossett. How you doing, man? Great. I'm like a level five diver now. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> level five. It goes to level 100. <laughs> you got black, got black, Let me give you the rules. You got black belt. What's up, Ross? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, great. Uh, glad to be back. Glad to be back, man. Yeah. Robert is a legend of the area. He's going to take us out on our first dive in the deep waters of the Florida Keys. All right, so today, Robert, day one. Day one. Day one of our adventure. <laughs> what are we doing? What do we, what do we got planned? <laughs> um, the weather's been great, the, the water's been clear. Now which record are we gonna dive? Yeah, this is a Cayman Salvage Master, 120 feet long or so, in about 90 feet of water. Good spear fishing on it, it's been down forever, like 1985 it sank. So we'll go out, we'll check that out first, and then we'll go down the reef and find some, some bigger fish. The Cayman Salvager is one of the most dramatic shipwrecks in the Florida Keys. It was in service in the 1950s as an old cable laying ship with a big wheel on the front that was used to lay cables from Key West to Cuba and Mexico. I think we're ready. All right, I'm Just ready. How far are we running? It's pretty close to first wreck, so maybe 20 minutes. All right, guys, we just got to the wreck. Uh, this is the Cayman. We're tied directly to it. So we're gearing up. 
First yeah. dive of the day, first dive of the trip. Yeah, baby. Ready. Oh, yeah. Enjoy the wreck, take our time, have some fun. You ain't gonna need that stringer, Gary. I got mine up. This is our first dive of the season, and Kobe thinks he's gonna outshoot me. There's something wrong with that boy's head. I'm a bobblehead. Look at the size of this cable spool. Looks like someone's greeting you there, Gary. I spotted a queen angelfish. Show is pretty. Looks like there are plenty of places for fish to hide. Hey guys, there's a Goliath grouper. Kobe, don't you shoot that. Got him. Nice shot, Gary. You're finding shooters, and I'm finding spiny sea urchins. Robert told us this was used by the Navy to transport Cuban refugees. While sitting dockside, it sank in 1985 when a tow cable snapped. Now, we get to explore it as divers. Now the wreck was nice and all, but now it's time to shoot more fish. I mean, somebody has to make sure we have something to eat for dinner. Dang, missed. All right, way to go, Gary. Got him, love it. This is great. There you go, Gary. Yeah, that's a big old slob. Nice. Those yellowtail are so hard to hit. Nice, good yeah. fish, bud. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bonus. Yeah. I just wanted to yeah. film the wreck. If you yeah. shot anything off of it, great. Yeah, that is a monster. That's a pig right Damn. there. Coming up on Spear Life, Gary isn't the only one shooting fish. This segment is brought to you by Bart's Bay Armor. Fear not what lies beneath. We are diving off the shores of Florida's Key West. Key West is the southernmost city in the contiguous United States. If you enjoy shopping, Key West has it. If you enjoy fun, food, and drink, Key West has it. If you enjoy beaches and bikinis like I do, Key West has that too. But I'm not here for the beaches and babes. I'm here to put on a tight wetsuit and show John and Gary how it's done with a spear gun. Three times, stay up for me to jump up and get, get, get. Put, put your hands in the air. Second dive here where ledges drop off. Yes, yeah, so our main reef line runs east-west. This is one of the roll-offs where it goes from about 50 feet down to 100 feet. We're throwing a little bit of chum balls down, ice the fish to gather around, take their turn in front of the spear. Cool, time to shoot some fish, boys. Let's do it. Yeah, now's when it begins. Ready? Let's do it. Here we go, boys. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. I lost it. Well, my first shot didn't quite work out, but Kobe was having better luck. Hey, hey. Yeah, baby, got my first of the trip. I better keep going, because Gary's gonna find the biggest if I don't. I got on the board, but of course, Gary had to show me up. Oh man, the guys are gonna be jealous. What a beauty. Wow, 
This trooper's gonna make Kobe wish he had stuck close to me. It's not the same grouper we saw. <laughs> it's not the same the there was no, no, it was not even no, close. No, we thought John was getting that one. <laughs> Gary, I'm gonna need you to tone it down a bit. Okay, this is a little, little much on the first dive. Look what I didn't shoot. <laughs> Get the curve bit. Nice fish. Nice, that's definitely a good grouper. Let's get some pictures of it. What's up with that, Gary? <laughs> John, what did that one come off? Yeah. It was unfortunate I didn't close the deal on my fish, but Gary cleaned up and Kobe and I were jealous. Can you get out of the picture and just get one of me? <laughs> hey, bye. What can I say? The fish love me. I could have kept going, but I wanted to leave a few fish for the guys for our third dive. Get mine out further. <laughs> Moving on. Let's see what happens on our third dive. Boys think I'm lucky, but it's all skill. Here's another one. Oh yeah, here's another. Nice shot, Gary. Hold up. He got away. I'm not so lucky after all. And when you know it, the fish terminator, Gary, was the only one with any luck on dive three. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Last dive of the day, boys. Last dive. Day one. Well, we've had, eight. we've had a good day already, so. Yep. Pound a few fish. I, I can't have y'all leaning on me all day, though. Ah, Save it. Gary, me and you're in first. Cheaters. Go shoot to big fish. Cheating. Whatever. You got bamboozled. <laughs> you got bamboozled. Good day. Fish in the box. One more dive to go. Of course, John would want to go spear fishing with Gary, because he's the man, man. Here's a good one. Way to thread the needle, Gary. First day I give myself the off. There's another one on your other side, Gary. Oh, I see. Nice. You could call this progress, but I've never felt worse. Wow, what a beauty, Gary. <laughs> you try to get away, Gary, you better get him. Ooh, baby, it's coming back to me like a boomerang. God! God! Over there! Where? Where? Oh, now I see. I'm on it. Sunday, there wasn't much better than a Saturday. Soon after I woke up, it's very late wrong. First day, did I realize it was only Wednesday? Wow, what a nice fit. Fantastic, God. Kobe's gonna be really jealous now. Bamboozled! I tell you, I got bamboozled! But great shot, John. Great fish, John. Yeah, he's a pretty good size one, too. God dang. Oh, made all these fish look good. Look at this. Man, that is a pretty one. You need a pretty? Pretty. Man, a good Dang. shot on, too. Look at the shot. Nice. nice. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. What a first day. Boom, baby. Nice. Boom. The big grouper! That's it. Coming up on Spear Life. A full second day of dives has Gary and I looking great. And Kobe looks like he found some dead weight. But well, we can't eat an anchor. This segment is brought to you by Neptonic Spearfishing. Solid spearfishing equipment you can trust. Down to down 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 to down 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 to down down. It's that time. Time to grab the Otaban and clean our stinky gear. It was also time to clean the fish and prepare it for dinner. Me and Kobe clean gear while Robert and Gary clean the fish. Then we head out to the Yellowfin Bar and Kitchen where they're going to cook up all the fish we shot today. Fish don't get much fresher than this. Gentlemen, hey. how are you guys? Gary. Robert? Gary. Pleasure to meet you. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Kobe's right. Fish doesn't get much fresher than this. This is the fish you guys brought in. All 
the fish that, that gets brought in is so fresh, you don't have to do much. Seasoning station set up here. Salt, pepper, some Cajun spice here are the salamander. Gets really good color. Let it sit there for two minutes. Inside. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a beautiful fish. Wonderful. Looking good. That's my home day. Oh, that's so good. Another beautiful day is ahead of us in Key West. While the streets come to life, so does the water as we head out for another day of diving. A lot of uh, a lot of the same stuff, so just, you know, rocky bottom ledges. Rocky bottom roll-offs, roll -offs. Uh, little coral heads. You know, we're gonna get that chum going again. Try to entice those fish to, you know, not think so much and stick around. Yeah, yeah act like me. What happened? Here goes Kobe chasing that ham sandwich. <laughs> Spearfishing isn't much different than fishing with a rod and reel. Using chum balls is one trick that Robert uses to draw fish in, which might actually help Kobe shoot some fish. Wait, what? 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 Hey, I missed. Ah, uh, here we go. I need this. Yes. I can't win. After searching for that grouper, I couldn't find him. And I was running short on air. So that was it for me this dive. Yep, Gary's gonna win again. Got one hiding in the reef. Yeah. You can swim, but you can't hide. Nice grouper, Gary. Gary connected with another great grouper, and now it was my turn to deliver on the dive. Great shot, huh? What you got, Gary? Go. Oh, oh my God! Oh, it gutted him. That was me. That was a double teamer. Dang, man. That was a double teamer. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, John and I were the only ones to come up with dinner. Then we find out the real story, why Kobe came up with nothing. I think your line actually got wrapped up in the gun. Here I laughed. Uh, <laughs> I just started laughing. Oh my <laughs> God. And then I couldn't find you, I was panicking. I'm like, I'm dinner all by myself, wrapped up in my line. Ah, where's Robert? <laughs> I was right behind him. <laughs> I was flopping around. Ah, Save me! Oh my god. Then he hand me his gun. Shoot! Shoot! I'm like, ah, boom! boom. <laughs> now remember, just because I'm the star of the show doesn't mean I'm the best spear fisherman of the show. As a matter of fact, I'm not that good. Hey, that was a good double team there. Yeah, man. Good yeah, double yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Good job, boys. Boom! Whoa. Yeah, baby. <laughs> It's early in the game, but Kobe can still score big on dive two. You said number two, John. <laughs> Get it, number two. Coming up. John, John, over there. John and Gary are gonna be jealous of what I just found. Welcome back to Spear Life, starring me, Kobe Treasure. They pulled the big trump card on me. That's all right. Hey. Good day, fish in the box. One more dive to go. Yeah. It's our last dive of the trip. Gary and John head into the waters to the north, and myself and Robert head to the south. The question is, which one of us will come up with the biggest prize? And which way is south? John, I have one below. Nice shot. John, John, over there. I'm on it. 
You got them. We're on a roll now. Gary, over here. Nice one, John. I wonder how Robert and Kobe are doing. John and Gary are gonna be jealous of what I just found. Mr. Treasure finds another treasure. Spanking him. Finally a hog. I saw a couple down there. Uh. While Team John and Gary cleaned up on the fish, little did they know that on my dive, Robert and I found the heaviest prize of all. I don't want to brag or nothing, Gary, but me and Rob got. <laughs> He's treasure hunting. Nice. <laughs> well, we can't eat an anchor. I might not be able to eat an anchor, but I can sell an anchor, which in turn gives me money to buy some groceries. First hog on the boat this trip. Yeah. Life here in Key West is a life worth experiencing, even if it's only for a short time. This is a place for families, couples, beachgoers, and spear fishermen like us. 2020 has been a tough year for all of us. Getting outdoors and trying to live a normal life helps ease the stress and can bring enjoyment back into your life. This was our first adventure in 2020, and success was had by all of us. I shot some snappers, hogs, and a great grouper, and of course, Gary does what Gary usually does as Mr. Reliable. And what can I say about my boy, Kobe? He found an anchor. I mean, that's something, right? Plus, he knows how to tell the somewhat true stories of an exaggerated fisherman. My fish I got, <laughs> Gary's little fish he got. <laughs> my fish, Gary's fish. Yeah. Wait a minute, Wait a minute. Kobe fish? Hey, put that down, I'm saving that. Don't take it out home. God dang it. <laughs> Why, Gary, why? We're on a roll now, baby.